In today's video, we are going to be breaking down our man-beating formation from our Atlanta Falcons free offensive scheme. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been to my YouTube channel before, my YouTube channel is all about helping people improve in Madden NFL 21. We do that through a variety of ways. One of the ways we're doing that today is we're giving you a full free scheme out of the Atlanta Falcons playbook. So on our channel, we've currently covered our bunch base formation from the Atlanta playbook. We've covered a three-headed Russian attack formation from the single bike bunch. And in today's video, we're going to be covering a man-beating formation from the shotgun tight flex and so um, if you guys want to continue to follow up and be more plugged into the channel one of the things that I want to encourage you to consider doing is I want to encourage you to consider joining my channel discord my channel discord is the best possible way to not only get your questions answered but it's also the best possible way to participate in the conversation because it's not just a one-way conversation where it's just me sharing my thoughts with you but it's the ability that not only I have and you have to talk, but we have the ability to talk to an entire community. Uh, so you can get multiple perspectives. It's just a really, really great community. You want to be a part of it. So you can join that by clicking the link in the description below. Now, cover two man, we all know that's an issue. We're talking specifically about man beating formation and the hallmark of a good man beating formation is typically some type of compressed set. And it typically gives you the ability to create man switches or natural picks and rubs against your opponent. So I'm going through here. I've got this standard, you know, standard good uh, solid coverages here um, from this. Is there 20 yard curl flat drops, 10 yard uh, hook curls, auto aligned to man, and we've also got everything set up so that it can, you know, just play man coverage really, really well. So we're going to come out and cover two man. And we're going to show you that now. The base play that you're going to run, that you're going to audible to. And remember, these are all audibles. Um, the audibles you're going to want to go ahead and set are wide receiver hooks, wide receiver cross. I like mesh spot. If you guys don't like mesh spot, you can utilize, um, you can utilize, uh, what's it called here? Wide receiver corners. Um, but I personally like mesh spot the most and then PA slot option. So again, the base play for this is wide receiver cross. Um, doesn't really matter your situations because you're gonna typically be audibly into this from a shotgun bunch type of set. So wide receiver cross. And what you're gonna see here against this is this has been one of the best plays every year in Madden. Uh, and the reason is just because of the route combination that you get with this. So the first thing is this route to Calvin Ridley this year is one of the best routes in the game. Um, it's it's a it's what's called an over route or a deep crossing route, uh, and this just does a really good job of beating a lot of different coverages. So what I like to do is motion him out a few steps to get him some space, and what you're going to see is against man, he's going to come underneath. And you're going to be able to throw that with a pass lead to the inside as you can see right there that route this year is much better than it's been in the past um, it's much better uh, it's just it's, it's a much better route than it has been against man to man this year it does beat man it also beats zone really well this year but as you can see here he's going to cut and then you're going to be able to beat that that cover two uh press look so we'll show you this is shade coverage down shade coverage inside uh, we'll show you different shading techniques that they are going to do against you one of the things that they're going to do is they're going to shade coverage that's going to help the man coverage play a little bit better but as you can see here this crossing route is going to get open at multiple levels of the defense one of the main reasons i love this route uh, against man to man so you've got the crossing route. Now, what they're going to start doing is they're going to shade coverage outside and they're going to shade coverage over top. That's part of why these crossing routes are so effective. So what you're going to see here is these little drag routes uh, are going to get pretty good separation against man-to-man. -man. They're um, Since they're not going to get pressed, and even if they do get pressed, let me show you what press coverage looks like here. So this is press coverage. It's just shading the coverage underneath. And what you're going to see is if they do that, you see that still, they're still going to miss that press on Russell Gage. And he's going to just kill, he is just going to kill the corner man to man. So you're going to have both of these crossing routes. Um, Russell Gage's route is a little bit better of a crossing route, but this is basically a um, compressed version of mesh with mesh posts. This, when you really think about it. Now you've got these two wheels on the outside. We're going to go over those in just a minute. But let me show you this route here to your X receiver. You see that quick cut he makes? He's going to also beat man to man. These are stock routes. Do not motion these routes. These routes right here are going to help you significantly be man-to-man -man coverage. I believe this is probably 
and this is just my personal opinion, I think this is probably one of the best man-to-man uh, coverage beaters in the entire game because of the way that these routes cut, they get such good separation. So you see here, they're not drag routes, they're quick cutting man beating routes, quick cutting crossing routes that really allow you to beat man to man coverage. Now, what the opponent is going to start doing is they're going to basically begin to cross man. Uh, and let's show you what that would look like. So if they cross man these routes, you're gonna see here, um, they're still gonna win. You can possession catch those, you're gonna click on, Swerve catch, like they're gonna have to use your one of those two routes. If they're gonna run man to man, like those crossing routes are just so good. This might be one of the best plays in the entire game this year because of how effective it is with man to man. Now, um, the next route on this play, Julio Jones route, we'll show you this. This route is um, kind of an interesting route. It's not as good as it was in years past against man to man. Um, it used to be that against man to man, you could throw wheel routes pretty much consistently and be fine. Now, anymore, um, with the shading techniques that they're, the opponent, that your opponent's probably going to do, it becomes a little bit more difficult. So if they shade coverage outside and over top, by shading it outside and over top, it's gonna keep the, them on top of these wheel routes. So you can't really, you see here, I can use or catch, but it's a little bit of a 50-50 ball. It's not, it's not as ideal as you would want in a route. So what you really are gonna look for with this, this specific route is if they start, let's say they um, start playing a little bit underneath coverage, that kind of thing. Well, this route really uh, can get over the top of the defense when they are shaded underneath. So if they're shaded over the top, this is not, this is not gonna work unless you just have an immensely faster receiver than the opponent has. But if they start press coveraging, and they may do something like this right here to stop those crossing routes, those middle routes that we love to run, what you're gonna see from this route right here is if they're underneath, you could just lob this up over the top, and if you have any any speed at all on your receiver, you're gonna be able to get that nice rack catch over the top. That's when they shade underneath. So if they shade over top, you've got the cross route. If they shade underneath, you've got the wheel route. Now, what if they go like Tampa two? Um, this is a, a defense I like to, or a defense that I'll run from time to time. This is just straight Tampa two coverage. Well, what you'll see here is this route to Todd Gurley. Oftentimes, this route to Todd Gurley will oftentimes create a little bit of a man switch, especially if you get this motion. Uh, from this cross. So what you'll see here is if I motion the cross right here, you see how these men are going to switch. That's another really key component of this is if you were to leave, let's say you leave Calvin Ridley compressed. You don't motion him out, right? Let's just say you do that. What's going to happen is this um, route, they will create a little bit of a natural man-to-man -man switch as well for you that you can hit the quick uh, flat pattern to your, your running back out of this. That right here. So, if I just leave Calvin Ridley right in here, compress. What you're going to see here is if I throw this quick flat route, you see how it switches, and the outside corner is going to take Todd Gurley. That right there, what it what it does for your offense is if you don't motion your cross route out, and they're running, you know, you know they're running that traditional Tampa two. You could just wheel him, get it out there, and you can go. And you see here um, a quick swerve catch in, and you're going to be able to get that. Now, most of the time, your opponent is going to be using the running back, so I did want to show you one thing um, that you can see here. This is actually a very interesting little concept. So part of the reason the wheel route works is this basically allows them you to negate the pressure that they're going to run. So if I let this guy motion out, let him set up, you're going to see here that my running back is going to get over the top of these cloud flats. As you see, the cloud flats, or the, I'm sorry, the curl flats, they do run with wheel routes this year. That's one of the things I really honestly makes this coverage so effective. But if you get Calvin Ridley out here just enough, you'll see you're gonna be able to hit this this quick if they use her the if they use her the running back. Again, the prop more than likely they're gonna use your running back. And so what you'll find here is these quick little throws, um, these quick little throws to the running back actually are very effective. And you can create some significant man switches from this formation. Um, if you motion your running back out, you see he becomes in this slot right here, and basically, for you know, for whatever it's worth, becomes a little bit of a bunch formation. You can get the ball over if you have a fast running back like a Kistra McCaffrey or something like that. But 
The running back wheel route is probably the more much more utilized against zone coverage. So we're gonna shift here for just a second and show you this this specific play against zone. What you'll see is this running back quick route. You can throw that quick to the flat and you're gonna get up the field very, very fast. Um, what's gonna happen is they're gonna have to start playing uh, underneath zones. So they may play something like this and they may play underneath zone coverage to stop that. Well, these crossing routes get over the field so quick that there's windows where you can put that in over the top of the zone coverage. Uh, obviously, we're unable to do that there, but typically you will be able to do that. One of the other things that you're gonna have access to within this play is you're gonna have access to this, again, you're still gonna be able to hit this crossing route. I mean, this crossing route, like I said, it might be the best route in the game because it just, it gets open at multiple points against multiple different zone coverages. It's, one of the, like I said, one of the best routes in Madden 21 is this route to Calvin Ridley, especially when you motion it out because he just gets in really, really tender spots this year against zone coverage. Most zones won't play that route. And so now you've got that route on top of your underneath meshes, which still beats zone. Uh, these underneath meshes really work well. You see the running back will come become kind of a lead blocker for Russell Gage. The wheel routes really are designed to be, um, more than anything, the wheel routes are designed to be kind of pull routes, um, different things that's gonna keep the defense honest, essentially, uh, if they try to go to something um, that's really not a, a good look. You're gonna see here against cover three, you're gonna absolutely dot it up with Calvin Ridley. So just a lot of really good stuff from this specific play. Now I do wanna move on, and I wanna talk about what they're gonna start doing. So when they start facing wide receiver cross, you're gonna see a lot of, they're going to have to begin kind of dropping their safeties and, and, and really go on something like this right here. Well, what we're going to be able to do is when we go to the play wide or PA slot options, this route to Calvin Ridley, it, now it is very much so a little bit of a, um, you know, a little bit of a speed specific route. But what you'll see is that route will typically actually get over the top of most coverages. Um, especially if they are not shaded over the top. So they're dropping their, their safeties in zone. They're used to us hitting them underneath, underneath, underneath. You know, maybe they maybe they pull all their coverage from the middle of the field. Well, if we go to PA slot options, all we're going to do is we're going to block the running back. That's literally all I like to do from this. The only other thing you might do is if you take Russell Gage, put him on a smart routed, um, or just put him on a flat route to the left side, and what you'll see here is this route over the top. If you got good arm, good cannon, you're going to be able to get that. Matt Ryan doesn't quite have the throw power for it, but typically that route will win over the top if they don't shade over top. If they don't shade over top. Okay, so again, these are simple, simple route combinations. There's nothing too crazy about this. But what I like about PA slot options, the route's a little bit more um, streaky up top. And what you'll see is, um, you'll see it right in here. If I throw it early, I can get, you see how much separation Calvin Ridley gets? And that's if they don't shade over top. And you see you're going to be able to get them over the top of the defense. They're going to have to use her that route. Um, because what they're, what they're doing uh, to stop wide receiver cross is they're going to be dropping zones left and right. I mean, they're literally going to be doing something like this very underneath based zone coverage you go to pa slot options if you've got good speed in the slot you can get that ball over the top fairly consistently there and that was actually shaded coverage over top so um to me pa slot options is a constraint theory play it's something you want to run whenever you're starting to get a lot of specific types of coverages you're wanting to kind of keep the defense honest that to me is where pa slot options really really shines um Specifically, like I said, just a quick out, quick flat to that left side guy. And what you'll see is against that cover three, cover three is going to do okay against it because there's no pull route that you could get over there. But overall, I would say, you know, this is just a really, really good uh, constraint theory type of play where, you know, they may be over pursuing to stop the underneath. And then what that does is it's going to open things up for your offense. You see here, you could create a trips, bunch, tight, compressed look. But in this end route, still pretty good. Um, to Julio Jones, you can high point that against certain zones as well. But PA slot option is really designed if they're running man to man, right? 
and they're doing the safety stuff where they're putting them in purples. You know, they're kind of, I mean, they're really overall a very underneath type of coverage look that you're getting. If you're getting something like that, what I would do is try to go to this play right here. And then underneath, I mean, I would do just very basic route combinations underneath, nothing too fancy. You know, maybe even that wheel to Todd Gurley to get that switch. But what you'll see here is this thing, you just lob it up over the top, click on, and you're typically going to get some space, especially if that's a fast wide receiver in that position. If that was Julio Jones, that would be a touchdown. So that is PA slot options. Wide receiver hooks, this is a very good play in my opinion because um, what I like to do um, is take all of these routes here, and what you'll see is this is just honest to goodness if they are playing a lot of over top coverage on you, like three deep, that kind of thing, these are the routes that I like to go to. Just low ball, just low ball, pass lead those routes to the inside. It works so, it's these curls are just so effective. Even if they press coverage on you, um, these curls are still pretty, pretty effective, again, depending on the route. But you'll see here, I mean, you can consistently hit these low balls all over the field. This is also a nice little play to mix in if they're going to go to some type of um, some type of zone man combination, right? Some type of something like that. But against shade coverage over top, like this to me, uh, it just, this little play, wide receiver hooks, does so good. Now with Russell Gage, you can, uh, what you'll find here is with some of these receivers, you see here, I can motion Calvin really out. He's on a curl that breaks to the, to the left. But you see there, he still, even though it shows in the player and he's breaking right, he's going to break, break left. And he gets a little bit better inside position um, than you might think, um, especially against, like, if they're running, let's say they're running some type of max coverage where they're throwing purples out there on the field. This route's going to sit underneath most of the curl flat zones. And so you're going to be able to get that combination and that little uh, th that route combination is so good. So then let me show you also Julio Jones's route. And again, this you can mix this in. This this mixes in very very well with the play um, with the play wide receiver cross as you see here. Now they're just going to curl up, and you see that route to Julio Jones. Now one thing you might consider doing with this play, um, if you'll bear with me here just a little bit. One thing you might consider doing, because of Julio Jones' route, it gets really in the middle of the field. Um, what you can do with it is you can take Hayden Hurst and you can just throw him on a standard hitch if you want to. Uh, again, this is just gonna give a little bit more space. See how Julio Jones, what I like about his specific route is he comes back to the ball in the middle of the field. Now you can actually, with this play, you can motion him out to the left side. You see it's basically a backwards comeback route. Against man-to-man, -man, what he's gonna do, what I just like about it is he's really gonna come hard back to the football. To me, that's a little bit very, that's a little bit of a unique curl route because most of the time they're not gonna come back. Now again, if they're zone, if they're running a lot of zone on you, this, this play specifically um, is gonna be okay. Um, what you're going to see here is, you know, Julio Jones' route is going to consistently be open. Um, but one of those curls will pop open, depending on what zone they're running. Uh, but anyway. And then the last play, mesh spot. Uh, what I like to do is smart route, Ridley's route. It's basically that post uh, stop route that we like. And then we're just going to run underneath crossers with this wheel route to Ridley. This is not as good against man-to-man. -man, but what you'll see here is this route to, to uh, Calvin Ridley. What you're going to do with it is you're going to motion out just like cross route, just like the cross route that we've been running uh, consistently. But what I like about this specific route is it's going to stop at a set point. So he's going to look like he's running a post, and then he's just going to sit, and you can low ball that to the inside very, very consistently. So if they're running you know, standard, standard covered shells, this route's going to sit in a very unique position, especially against zone coverage. Again, I like to smart route it because it makes it go a little bit deeper. What you'll see here, motion him out. He's going to come underneath and then you're just going to pass that down into the inside. He's going to come back to the ball at a very high uh, spacing. And so you're, you're basically from a zone perspective, mesh spot, you're literally going to read um, what are the what routes are open. Are the crosser routes open or is Calvary really open? You're going to peek at this corner route to Julio Jones and what you'll find against this corner route, it does do a good job against cover two. Uh, for the most part, it will do a pretty good job against cover two. 
me show you that real quick. Especially if you're on the, you, you, you would like to run, in a perfect world, you would run this route to the right hash. Um, so you would run the quarter route to the wide side of the field, essentially. But what you'll see here is when Julio Jones cuts to the left, if you just throw it hard left pass lead, it's going to get over most of the cover two zones of the game. It's going to get over most of the zones in general in the game, I think. Um, and it's just a decent corner route. It's the same kind of corner route from uh, shotgun bunch corner strike that we talked about a few days ago. And so this route really, I you know, I very rarely do run this play. Um, but you'll see this route to uh, Calvin Ridley. I shouldn't have lowballed right there. But his little sit route works so well against zone coverage because zone coverage will just fall away from it. They're not going to sit. And if they're, if they're usering this route, which they might, I mean, very well could be doing, you know, if they're usering this, it's just going to stop. And that's what makes it so good. The, the user is going to keep running because he's thinking he's on a crossing route. And then this is just going to stop. So all in all, guys, this is a very, very good formation. I think these, this, these crossing routes um, do a really, really good job against man-to-man -man this year. So this might be one of the best man beaters in the entire game. But, guys, tomorrow we're going to be talking about our zone beating formation from this form from this playbook. Atlanta playbook is really good. I think it's definitely a top five playbook uh, early on in the game. But there's just so many things you can do from it this year. So really excited to dive into the zone beating. But, again, guys, this is a completely free offensive uh, ebook right now for Atlanta. So if you guys want to catch the rest of the ebook, um, what I would do, I'm going to put all these videos in a playlist so you can catch those at the channel. But make sure you're subscribed so that way you can get access to the future videos. And also, remember, we're going to be streaming uh, tonight. We're also going to – I think we've got two more videos for today to get up. And then we've got four videos again tomorrow. We post four times a day on YouTube as well as stream every single night. So a lot of content, a lot of material to digest. If you want to get better at Madden, I feel like my channel does a decent job at that. And so if you're interested, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. There's some videos you want you to check out here or coming up. And then we have more videos coming today more videos that are going to release on our channel so be sure to head over there to madden 21 tips and tricks youtube channel and uh, check out some of those cons some of those videos coming uh, today